Good evening, everybody. Hope you guys all had a wonderful day. I know I did. It's been a good weekend, a good Labor Day. Spent time with family and friends. That's why I didn't make a video last night. Thank you uh, for all being so understanding about that. Um, the topic of tonight's conversation is going to be shopping for your woman. Uh, more importantly, shopping for lingerie for your woman. Um, most of you guys now are rolling your eyes, um, but some of you are kind of, ooh. Um, there's different kinds of guys that uh, that shop for lingerie for their wives. Some are really confident. They stroll right in like they own the place. And others, you know, they got to walk around the mall for about like five, six hours before they'll actually go inside. Um, but um, Mr. Confident, that I like to call him, he's the guy that uh, he walks right in, kind of like he owns the place. Like he's wearing his balls on the outside of his pants. His chest is struck out. And he walks in and he tells the clerk exactly what he wants. No ifs, ands, or buts. I want black bra, lace, satin bow. I want matching crotchless panties. And I want it now. Now here's the guy that's going to take it home and uh, present it to his wife. Like he uh, just brought home a kill for supper. Very, very proud of himself. And whether, whether she likes it or not, you know, she's going to wear it. She's going to wear it because he likes it. It could be anything. It could be a bra and, and underwear. It could be one of those negligees that I really hate because they're uncomfortable as fuck when you're a bigger woman like myself. It could be anything, but she's going to love it. She's going to smile and he's going to put it on. And yeah, she's going to thank him in all sorts of ways. I'm going to go with a mouth hug, but she's going to thank him for it. So that's our guy number one picking out lingerie for his wife. Guy number two is going to walk past the lingerie shop, not do a full circle around the mall, but he's just going to look in the window and then he's going to go in. He's going to go for it. And and this is typically the guy that, uh, you know, he's looking for something light pink, maybe white, maybe, you know, pastel purple, something like that. He's going to ask for the girl's advice. And meanwhile, he's going to be like scoping out her tits and wondering, like, is this going to look as good on my wife as it would probably look on you? And he's, you know, he's gonna mull it over, but then he's gonna, he's gonna buy it anyway, and he's gonna get it put in a box, really nice. He, he's going to present it to his woman, like, um, would you mind putting this on? And that could go either way. Um, you could, she could either like really love it and then like parade around on it, and then oh, you know how that's gonna end, or she's that. If he's that, that wishy-washy, she might just throw it at him and tell him to wear it. Whichever. Third guy is going to walk into that lingerie shop like he would really rather die. Like he'd rather be somewhere else. Like somewhere with his balls caught in a bear trap or, or anything. But he, he knows that he's got to do it because she's been nagging at him and she wants this lingerie. And oh, okay, fine. He's going to pick through it and he's going to check out the sizes and... You know, just kind of hope nobody notices him. He might move to the back of the store, which is where all the sale items and the plus size is. So don't pick out a plus size, guys, no matter what you think. Don't think, it like, if you buy it big, she's, like, going to grow into it or something like that. Because you might end up with a cat suit up your ass and a whip inside of your ear. Just saying. He's going to pick whatever. He's he's going to pay whatever. He's not even going to look at the bill. He's just, I'll just put it in the bag so I can get the fuck out of here. And I'll walk home and... He's going to hope for the best. She's probably not going to wear it. Then again, you never know. She might be one of those that is just thinks it's so sweet and uh, whatever. So, yeah, that's guy number three. Guy number four is going to be the most realistic one out of all of them. He's not going to go anywhere near the lingerie shop. Oh, he might think about going past the sex shop just because there's lingerie, but more than likely because there's going to be a big vibrator and all you guys like to watch. But chances are pretty good. If he's anything like my husband, he's not going to buy any of that shit. He's just going to come home, look at what you're already wearing, whether it be sweatpants, a uniform, it really doesn't matter. Because in the end, whether it's lingerie, whether it's kinky underwear, whether it's sweatpants, it all ends up on a ball on the bedroom floor so that being said this video might be a little bit boring I don't know I'm tired <laughs> I uh, promise you guys something funnier tomorrow but until then thank you for the love and support and for watching um, if you don't like the video mm, oh well whatever have a good night and take care of yourselves